What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Not Enough. I had to step out of the house. I had to go to an area that's pretty dense with Walmarts and Goodwill. So, hey, you know how it go. It's late September. I could use another crazy score. Let's get it! Starting out the first Goodwill of the day. It looks like we have one of these Adventure Force Havoc bolt-action pistols. Got another Villainator without the drum. Disruptor, white reverse edition. Those are always nice to see. An original Busby Tommy 20 from the early 2000s. That's cool. These things are so rudimentary, it's crazy. Digging out from under here a pile, one of these Fortnite SPLs. And the front looks like it had been completely chewed up by a dog. And a 6SH. I love this thing. I have never found one thrifting. It's a hammer action, hammer shot style, I guess, with an extension piece on it. Really cool to mod. Happy to pick it up. It was like $1.99. Reflex 6s from X shot i couldn't freaking believe it the fuse fire has been on my thrift bucket list forever and i finally found one guys it was in perfect condition i was taking that with me as if the day didn't already start awesome a freaking desolator with the battery door no mag albeit but still 4.99 for a desolator i don't come across these that often i was gonna go ahead and grab that another busby barbarian again four-year-olds grips are made for four-year-old found another reflex six so decided to lord work it right over to the next reflex six oh cool xd retaliator had a busby mag in it it was for a decent price so i grabbed it and then i saw this bag a set of snap fires that came together in a set i think it was a bell's exclusive it was the orange the royal blue and then the white i had to put my phone on to grab the bag and assess all the contents of the bag decided to ultimately grab them and then i saw this rapid fire it was also in clean condition and tagged i think for half off so there was just no way i was going to leave that behind for 99 cents i usually grab these along with reflex sixes if they're cheap enough decided to check the bins next door now this is something i normally don't film because it's really crazy out here but this bin is pretty good it's in a town that's a little bit more quieter it's not as crazy like the other ones are i immediately have already found a ts blue shotgun from fortnite which i don't have a demolisher a little bit of jam door damage nothing i can't fix a strato bow i couldn't believe i found this in the bin this thing is like $49.99. It's a Kohl's exclusive. You know I was going to put this aside and add it to the stack of blasters that I'm already surprised I have. Fortnite DG. I showed this in my recent video of my Fortnite IR. Very good video. You might want to check it out. Long shot icon front gun. Never seen these in the bin, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Checking out an Ollie's immediately after, and I see the Reflex 6, the new one, the Dino Striker, all by itself. Not in a combo. You know I was going to grab that. And then, guys, I saw this. You know I was going to go crazy over this. I have zero nitrogen ammo and then i see an entire stock of cars i grabbed five of each type it was a total of five different packages and then i saw the six packs so i grabbed like 10 of those i was never gonna need for any nitro car ammo ever again wrapping up this ollie's paul was gonna be the dino striker the three packs of nitro cars and of course the six pack of nitro cars let's get it like i said in bargain seven you gotta persevere because you never know what goodwill what place what time is gonna have the jackpot? I got one more Goodwill to go before I head home. So I'm hungry, so let's get it. All right, guys, moving on to the next Goodwill. Looking at a bag of toys here. And then I see a Tri-Strike. Pretty cool, but it wasn't Yellow Day. I still don't have one of those. And then I see a Flight CS-10 from Alpha Strike. I quite frankly don't see these too often thrifting, but this one was missing the mag and the jam door, and it was Sharpie bombed to death. So yeah, no thank you. I had to step out of the house to run some errands. Whenever that happens, you know what time it is. Let's get on with it. And the next Goodwill was a strikeout. All right, guys, getting late in the day. Moving on. Got another Goodwill here. See a Busby Predator down there. A Boomco Rapid Madness up here. And then I see one of these RLs from Fortnite. Not interested. One of these Alpha Strike looking shotgun things. Another Boomco Rapid Madness. Flip Fury down there. A double shot from Busby. One of the older ones. One of the earlier models from 2001. Didn't really need it, so I put it back for the next person. One of these Traffic Light Nerf targets. Didn't really need that, so I put that right right back and then we were moving on to the next goodwill i have gotten some good jackpots here before scatter blast some slam fire action super soaker of the new variety don't really like them and then we see a fire strike pretty clean but i got like 407 of these don't need another one cool little elite white series xd strong arm very nice for a 99 cent deal somebody will get a good deal i got plenty of these in the furniture section of this goodwill i found a scorpion by adventure force this thing was even spinning had the batteries in it 2.99 and it was black day so i got it for 50 percent off gotta love it all right checking out the next goodwill and what do we got we got a fury fire next to a tri break got both of those not really interested in either one right now the prices were not even on sale one of these cool little kickbacks the dino striker series i think it's called the extinct 
got plenty of those left it behind for the next person and then i see a fan qs4 i modded the claw the cousin of it recently check out that video it's really cool moving on to the next goodwill some things peeking down here i got a strong arm got a cool barricade i've seen this one here before looks like it stayed after the black half off same old praxis from last time left that on the shelf didn't really need it and then i see the hornet that i've been eyeing in this store but i'm just waiting for it to be green day so i can grab it see one of these boa rc6s they're pretty cool i've been thinking about modding one of these for half darts like i did to the claw but haven't gotten to it yet adventure force 2018 variety the blue one very cool color combo i like these a lot this one was in rough shape so i left that on the shelf starting with that first goodwill where we went to we found this 6sh it is a six shot revolver very very cool piece hammer action just like the hammer shot xd retaliator elite i actually like this core blaster a lot i have plenty of mags so i paired it with a mag it did not come with one right off the shelf so i'm happy to have another one of those rapid fire from the x shot bug attack series very very cool desolator battery compartment intact no mag but i had this cool little mag that i just paired it up with we found these sharp fires now i think these come in a kit at the bell's store not the bell's outlet but the bell's store it's kind of expensive i think i've seen these for like 30 dollars. i don't even know why they're just jolts that are straightened instead of having the plunger and the handle. They have everything on the top, just like a fire strike. It's one of the coolest pistols. It's my favorite variant of the Jolt, even though it has a little bit of an alpha strikey appearance. I kind of like it. This demolisher, now it's a little bit scratched and it has a little bit of damage on the jam door, but that's nothing that we can't deal with. I might run a minimized mod on this. Fortnite DG, really, really clean. This one was an exceptional condition. Very cool little Tommy piece. Shoots actually pretty well, similar to the Surge Fire from Nerf, except it has a stock and of course all the Fortnite goofy aesthetics, but very ergonomic. I'm really pleased with this. We also had an Icon series front gun for the long shot. I never actually had any Icon or never found any Icon series equipment. So this was kind of cool. Maybe in the future, I will find the pieces to complete it. We have the TS shotgun from Fortnite. This one shoots the mega variety. It holds I believe three or four rounds or three and one in the chamber. I have the red variety already. Of course, they never have the storage compartment door, but I don't care because I don't use that anyway. Really ergonomic piece, really cool. A lot of these Fortnite blasters will surprise you with the ergonomic. Very big hand friendly. I'm glad to add it to the collection. How can we freaking forget? This guys is the fuse fire. It's like a super vigilant. This thing is incredible. It's got lights and sound. It's actually made to work with these discs that have glow technology built into them. So then when they get hit by the light inside this barrel, they illuminate. So at night, it's very, very fun to play with this. Now, I don't have any glow discs. I still have to get them. I have a lot of the regular green and the red and white ones. It does hold five discs in this top magazine. There's plenty of reviews on this on the internet and you will see why it's so special and why I have been wanting one personally for so long. In that bin stack as well, incredibly, was this Strato bow in incredible condition. This is extremely fun to shoot. It has like a mag strike style clip. I believe it's a 16 shot AR. It's about $50 at Kohl's. In the bins, believe it or not, those six blasters, I believe I got them for $6.78. I have to dig up the receipt to make sure, but yeah, because they weigh these blasters as electronics, which is 69 cents a pound, guys. I fit this in the frame earlier, but this is basically the Dart Zone Adventure Force Scorpion. It's a mini gun that's motorized. It's actually really fun. The rate of fire is not crazy, but it's easy to use. It had the chain. <laughs> I was happy to get that. I think I picked it up for two bucks. Really clean too, good shape. I've seen these at Walmart and clearance for like 17 bucks, but nothing beats the thrift, especially if it's clean. Honorable mentions real quick. Kohl's had a 50% off sale and I went ahead and grabbed this Halo Bulldog SG. It's a nice collector's piece. Originally 36.99, as you can see there. And I believe I got it for about $18. So I was really happy to grab that. You saw me go to Ollie's and grab all those nitro cars. These are just the five types. I got five each of those boxes. I just didn't want to ever have to need for that kind of ammo again because I picked up a lot of nitro blasters, but I didn't have any nitro ammo. At Kohl's as well was this mega big rig Excel, which by the way, is still on sale right now for $10, which is half of what it shows here. It's the smallest, most compact Mega XL launcher that you can get right now. I got the Ollie's six pack of cars as well. Once again, thanks to Alan Carey. He let me know that Ollie's also had the single variety of Dino Blaster from X-Shot. So I was happy to grab that as well to mod it. Guys, I hope you like these kind of videos. And if you do, I welcome you to subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. I already got to get back to working on the next video, but till next time, stay blasting foam fam.